Riders love the familiar layout and outstanding functionality of the Hayabusa's instrument cluster. It lives on, as do the large analog speedometer and tachometer, while now benefiting from a number of new touches that make its functional brilliance shine even brighter. Gold color accents add an extra look of luxury. Advanced function received as much attention as design. One standout new feature is the TFT LCD panel mounted in the center. It displays either the current SDMS Alpha system settings or an active data display that shows lean angle with peak hold function, front and rear brake pressure, rate of forward reverse acceleration, and the current accelerator position. The ability to confirm the bike's status at any time makes riding all the more enjoyable. Raised scale markings around the periphery of the speedometer and tachometer use LED lighting to provide a clearer view and faster recognition. The all-new Hayabusa is equipped with the latest electronic control systems. Designed to optimize performance characteristics to match the needs of the moment, they offer a strong sense of communicating directly with the bike's heart and brain as the rider explores the potential of the ultimate sport bike. Supporting these advanced control systems is a new six-axis inertial measurement unit supplied by Bosch. The IMU measures angular rate and acceleration to constantly monitor pitch, roll and yaw movement and supplies data valuable to effectively controlling traction and braking. The all-new Hayabusa also adopts Suzuki Drive Mode Selector Alpha. It allows the rider to choose settings for each of five different control systems as a group. SDMS Alpha offers a choice between three factory presets as well as three user-defined settings that let the rider switch modes to match the riding scene or preferred performance characteristics. When activated, Motion Track Traction Control offers 10 mode settings that enable the rider to control the Hayabusa with confidence in varying riding conditions. The higher the mode, the faster the control takes effect and more proactive the system is in limiting wheel spin. The system constantly monitors front and rear wheel speed, engine RPM, throttle position and gear position, as well as the amount of lean angle. When it detects an imminent loss of traction, the ECM controls output to the electronic throttle valve, ignition coil and fuel injectors to limit power and mitigate the chance of tire slipping. Power Mode Selector lets the rider select between three different output characteristic modes. Mode 1 provides the sharpest throttle response. Mode 2 provides more linear power delivery with softer throttle response. And Mode 3 provides the softest throttle response and a more gentle power curve with reduced maximum output. Suzuki's bi-directional quick shift system allows the rider to shift up or down without operating the clutch or throttle. Smooth shift changes help keep the focus purely on riding. Two modes are offered, with Mode 1 reacting more quickly to replicate racing style response and Mode 2 offering a lighter touch. The anti-lift control system uses data input from the IMU and other sensors to work toward keeping the front wheel on the ground when accelerating. This helps maintain a more stable posture off the line. This new Suzuki technology offers a selection of 10 modes that supply differing levels of control over lift characteristics. A first on a Suzuki motorcycle, the engine brake control system provides control over the effective strength of engine braking. This makes it possible to suppress rear tire sliding or skipping when decelerating after releasing the throttle grip or downshifting. The rider can choose from one of three mode settings and match the level of control to his or her preference. Launch control helps ensure smooth, efficient acceleration from a standing start. 
The system aims to limit engine speed and optimize torque transfer so the rider can open the throttle wide and concentrate solely on operating the clutch. Mode 1 limits engine speed on launch to 4,000 RPM. Mode 2 operates at 6,000 RPM. And Mode 3, the fastest mode, operates at 8,000 RPM. The new Hayabusa introduces active speed limiter as a first in the motorcycle industry. It allows the rider to set a speed they do not wish to exceed and decelerate normally by backing off the throttle. By lessening worries about speeding or riding faster than intended, the system frees the rider to focus on enjoying a spirited ride. Cruise control allows the rider to maintain a set speed without operating the throttle. The system can be activated while riding at 2,000 to 7,000 RPM in second gear or higher and can be set for speeds between 31 km per hour and 200 km per hour. With combined braking, simply operating the front brake lever provides braking power to both the front and rear brakes. This helps promote more confident braking. The Motion Track brake system supports controlled braking in a wide variety of riding conditions. The ABS unit's ECM uses input from the front and rear wheel speed sensors as well as vehicle posture data from the IMU to control brake pressure and achieve more effective braking. This helps the rider to maintain their intended line through the corner. The new Hayabusa's slope-dependent control system helps prevent rear wheel lift when braking on a downhill slope. The ABS unit uses input from the IMU to monitor the bike's posture and when the rider applies the brakes, control brake pressure to try and find the optimum setting to match the angle of inclination. The aim is to achieve more stable braking even when riding downhill. The hill hold control system is a convenient function that, after stopping on an uphill incline, helps ensure smoother restarts free of worries that the bike will roll backward. When turned on, the system uses input from the IMU which constantly monitors the bike's posture to engage the rear brake for 30 seconds once the rider comes to a stop on a hill. It can be disengaged either by quickly squeezing the front brake lever twice or when the ECM determines that the rider is accelerating to pull away from a standing start. The emergency stop signal is another first on a Suzuki motorcycle. It rapidly flashes the front and rear turn signals to alert following vehicles if the rider brakes suddenly at speeds of 55 km per hour or higher. Poised to create a new legend poised to deliver the ultimate riding experience. Get ready to tame the beast and create new legends of your own. Get ready for the new Hayabusa, the ultimate sport bike.